We are at Rogers Pass on the Canadian Pacific in British Columbia, Canada during the summer and fall of 2014. In this video, we are focusing on the west side of the pass from Ross Peak near Revelstoke to the top of the grade at both Mount McDonald and Connaught Tunnels. Keep your eye out for black bears as we are sure to see a few during today's visit. First up, westbound double stacks roll through Ross Peak. Continuing up the line toward Albert Canyon, we catch the westbound Rocky Mountaineer running along the Illo Silhouette River on today's journey between Banff and Kamloops. The railway follows the course of the Illa Silhouette River up the western slope of the Selkirk Mountains, crossing it ten times. The siding of Illa Silhouette is accessed by Jumping Creek Road just off the Trans-Canada Highway. While waiting for a train, a couple of black bears amble up toward our location. Spring has come to the Selkirks and the bears are eager to replace the pounds lost during winter's hibernation. While the male keeps a watchful eye on us, the female seems preoccupied with feasting on the large dandelions which grow here. Bears are unpredictable in their behavior and dangerous and are best left alone. Fortunately for us, dandelions trumped rail fans for this couple who decided to swing wide and head for the other side of the tracks. Yellow Silhouette is a siding that crosses the river on a 190-foot long bridge located at milepost 97.8. An empty grain train heads up the hill with an interesting assortment of power. AC44CW number 8623 leads an ex SU SD40-2 number 6611. The third unit is a former GP9 rebuilt in 2013 as a GP20C Eco number 2233. A nearly perfectly timed meet is taking place and CP8623 East slowly pulls through the siding toward the east switch while a westbound coal train heads down grade on the main track. Rogers Pass is named for Major A.B. Rogers, who discovered this shortcut across the big bend of the Columbia River between Revelstoke and Donald in 1881. This narrow valley through heavily forested mountains follows the Illa Silhouette River on the west side and the Beaver River on the east. The Trans-Canada Highway was completed through the pass in 1962 and, like the railway, uses snowsheds where the grade cuts through the avalanche chutes. Highway 1 clings to the north side of the valley, and the CP navigates the south.
A splash of fall colors brightens up the scene near the west end of another series of snow sheds, beginning at milepost 94.4. CP-9732 West crosses the Illa Silhouette on a short bridge as it carefully descends the steep 2.5% grade. The west bore of the Mount McDonald Tunnel comes into view as we set up near Ross Peak. A late September rainstorm is rolling over the Selkirks this morning and is forecast to drop over an inch of rain before noon. CP 8708 East leads an empty coal train up the wet rails of the South Track, which is now referred to as the Connaught Track, and the engineer gives us a friendly whistle. Between Flat Creek and Rogers, the line is again double-tracked and the grades split as they cross the summit of Rogers Pass. Eastbounds like this coal train generally take the older Connaught Track, which crests the summit near Glacier, around four miles farther up the mountain, and westbounds take the newer McDonald Track, using the nearby tunnel. Ross Peak looms above both main lines near the west bore of the Mount McDonald Tunnel, and an avalanche chute still contains a trace of snow on a springtime afternoon in June. Looking to the east above the Connaught Track, the craggy summit of Rogers Pass is finally in sight, draped in the evidence of recent storms. The Mount McDonald Tunnel yawns before us, and we can hear a westbound grinding up to the summit, which is located just inside the tunnel portal. At 9.1 miles, this is the longest tunnel in the Western Hemisphere. Trains can be heard for over 20 minutes before reaching daylight. CP 9359 leads a westbound train 101 out of the tunnel.
CP 8630 East heads up to Connaught Track with train 112 running between Vancouver and Montreal. The McDonald Tunnel was built in 1988 to reduce the grade on the east side of the pass from 2.4% to 1% for heavy westbound trains. Eastbounds, which are usually empty, take the steeper Connaught grade. Another westbound is heard in the tunnel. As it exits the portal, it reaches the top of the climb out of the Beaver Valley. Continuing up the Connaught Track, Avalanche Mountain looms over Glacier Station, which was built at this location in 1916 when the Connaught Tunnel was completed. The building is currently in a state of ruin and is one of only two remaining log stations in Canada. The other is Lake Louise in Alberta. The Rocky Mountaineer approaches the station after exiting the five-mile Connaught Tunnel, just around the curve. Although normally used for eastbounds, the Mountaineer prefers this track on its westbound run. The steeper grade is also the most scenic.
A high green shows at the east end of Glacier for the CP8743 as it lugs an empty coal train to the summit of Rogers Pass at an elevation of 3,745 feet. Just like on the McDonald track, the summit is actually just inside the west bore of the tunnel. A work train sits on a house track near the station as the rear of the coal drag disappears into the Connaught Tunnel just out of view. At an elevation of 4,360 feet, we have reached the summit of Rogers Pass. At this point, the Connaught Tunnel is nearly 800 feet below us, and the Mount McDonald Tunnel is over 1,000 feet down. Rogers Pass is known for its snowfall. The original 1885 rail line ran over this pass as well, but several deadly avalanches led to the building of the Connaught Tunnel. Today, the Trans-Canada Highway travels close to the original route. A series of snowsheds add protection in the highest prone areas, while the Royal Canadian Artillery uses 105mm howitzers for avalanche control during the winter months. One of the remnants of the original line over Rogers Pass can be found at Loop Brook, near Glacier. A column of stone pillars still rise through the trees where the old grade forded the creek. A series of loops near this location eased the grade over the pass until the Connaught Tunnel was opened in December of 1916. Even today, although their beauty is alluring, the foreboding mountains that mark the top of the Selkirks stand like a giant keep-out sign. The Connaught Tunnel was the longest in Canada when it was built and allowed the CP to breach the Selkirks directly underneath Mount McDonald. It lowered the crossing of Rogers Pass by over 500 feet. The grade inside the tunnel is 0.95%. The rails shimmer at the east bore as the Rocky Mountaineer prepares to exit the five miles of darkness.
Farther down the mountain, we find the east bore of the Mount McDonald Tunnel. The station sign is Bear Creek, and we can see that the name fits. Another black bear forages for food along the right-of-way on a rainy afternoon. Black bears are a common sight in British Columbia, as are grizzlies. An alarm sounds as a door is raised near the end of the purge cycle. Large fans are used to clear the tunnel of smoke in between trains. A westbound train is in the tunnel, and another westbound is being held at Wakeley for the purge to complete. The bear doesn't seem to be bothered by the sounds of the tunnel, and we suspect that he spends a lot of time in the area. We are actually set up right where he was just a few minutes earlier. Returning our attention to the tunnel, smoke begins flowing out of the east bore near the end of the purge. Soon, the searchlight signal shows a green for the second westbound. CP-9808 leads a loaded grain train up the 1% grade and disappears into the longest tunnel in North America. It's a 35-minute trip under Mount McDonald to the west side of Rogers Pass on a 0.7% grade. At one point, the Mount McDonald Tunnel crosses nearly 300 feet under the Connaught Tunnel, as both lines pass directly through the heart of Mount McDonald. Just down from the Mount McDonald Tunnel, a powerhouse is located next to the right-of-way. It is used for the ventilation system on the mile-long Mount Shaughnessy Tunnel, which was built as part of the $500 million, 21-mile McDonald track. A loaded coal train exits the west bore of the tunnel as it climbs the 1% grade. Another rebuilt SD-30C Eco is tucked in behind the lead unit.
The Mount Shaughnessy Tunnel crosses under the Trans-Canada Highway, and if you look carefully, you can see traffic passing overhead. You have been watching an excerpt from Rogers Pass, Canadian Pacific's Mountain Sub. If you would like to watch the full two-hour program, it is available on DVD, high-definition Blu-ray, and digital download. Log on to 7ideaproductions.com for this and many more railroad titles. There is a link in the description below. If you enjoy watching videos like this, please hit that like button and subscribe to watch more programs added weekly. From all of us at 7idea Productions, Thanks for watching.